just did a little bit of rearranging here in the workshop, moved around my Traxxas TRX4s, added some spare sledge tires underneath the high trail additions, so I don't have to keep rotating the tires every month. Still have to put some tires underneath these rigs down here, but check this out. This is my original Traxxas TRX4, the Defender, and all I've done to this is add the light kit to it. Looks pretty sweet. And then next to it, we've got the 2020 Ford Bronco. All I've done to that is add the winch to the front and I've got a Bauhaus LCG battery tray in that. Next to it is the Sport. That thing went through a lot of changes. There's a ton of aftermarket Traxxas parts on there. Absolutely love the body on that truck. And this truck too, the Ford Bronco that we built up from a kit, added a ton of option parts. Got the custom painted body from RC Patina guy. And then the Ford Ranger XLT, that was a pretty recent review, as well as the K5 Blazer. And then we've got an open slot here, guys. That's the topic for today, but I just wanted to show the hauler off again, just because it looks really cool with the hot rod on it. The one missing is the K10 pickup truck. I've actually been having a lot of fun adding some option parts to that, some Traxxas option parts on Instagram, and they're getting a ton of views. People actually love seeing that thing get hopped up, and uh, I thought I'd just run through some of the changes that I've made to it and something that made me almost lose my mind with this truck. Before I tell you what that is, let's take a look at the truck, what I've done to it. It has a bunch of Traxxas options on there. Not everything you could get from them, but just some fun stuff. And I started off by putting the push bar on the front bumper. That's kind of a must. I kind of wish it came with it. Installing option parts is part of the fun of RC. Next up on it, I actually went and started installing the light kit. And I'm gonna circle back around to that. We're gonna talk about some of the changes I made to the axles first. Uh, I went and threw on the aluminum portal housings and the outer covers, both front and rear. Uh, went with the red anodizing because I think it just looks really cool underneath the black body. Uh, these are obviously a bit stronger because they're aluminum. There's certainly a nice style upgrade for this. Are they absolutely mandatory? There's, there's a lot of cool stuff that you could get for these. Uh, a lot of people running brass, of course, but this is basically a fun truck for me. That's why I went and threw these on. They look really good. And then I did go and throw a Traxxas weight kit on the front. Uh, they have these little horseshoe weights that you could go add on to those uh, aluminum knuckles, just to add a little bit of weight down low on this truck. I mostly do trailing with it, so I don't need a ton of weight on there. It's Again, it's just for fun. And then I went and threw the red shocks on. Uh, they're the long travel, of course, to go along with the long travel lift kit. Rock lights are pretty much a must on these trucks, so I threw those on. That's a really easy install. And then let's get to the light kit. Now, the light kit made me almost just go crazy. Uh, I picked up the light kit from Traxxas. It's their Pro Scale LED light kit setup, and I'm installing the stuff on the body, the LED lights on the body, running the wires underneath and everything. And Traxxas makes some really nice light kits, but there was a, a little bit of a snag in installing this one. And this is the area right here that threw me. Mounting up the distribution block. So installing the LED lights in the front headlights and then the tail lights, that was easy running the wires but there was no place to mount this distribution block. And they give you plates to install it, but nothing really seemed to fit. So after talking to Traxxas, they said I needed the Ford Bronco mount to go and mount this distribution block to the K10. So finally got it in. It doesn't fit exactly right. Um, you gotta just kind of screw it into place and it pulls these ears in towards the, the cage mounting tabs but it does fit and it does allow you to go and mount up the distribution block. So everything looks good now. I went and zip tied everything. I like that the wires are out of the way on this. And then all I have to do is go plug in the main harness lead to the distribution block here. And uh, it's pretty much ready to go, ready to light up. You know, everything just tees into the power connector here. You do have a harness that you have to run over to the receiver box. Uh, but once you get that done, the light kit is in. It looks really good with it on. I'll show you it in a minute. I'm gonna take it out to drive just to show you guys. Uh, the only other thing actually I did is install the uh, aftermarket servo from Traxxas, the 400. And I still need to get a BEC for it to power that thing properly, but it's in there, it's ready to go. And uh, you know, installing that BEC is a, a pretty easy mod, but uh, we need to go try this. I haven't actually driven it with some of these mods on here. So uh, let's just head down to the local trail 
just have some fun. So guys, I'm at my spot for the second time today. That's because when I got here, I had no throttle and I never actually tried to throttle in the workshop because why would I? Everything worked before. And I found out that I actually put a screw through the wire that leads to the Pro Scale lighting kit. So I ruined it. I had to go back and I ran the max wire lead through it. So I, technically I could go run the lights through the radio system now, change everything up, which is a cool feature. But that was a bummer. <laughs> it was driving me nuts figuring it out. So now I'm ready to do some trailing. Stop for a little rock crawl right here. See if that weight works out in the front. And it does. This rock is seriously angled. Oh, oh man, I see the tires rolling. Got it. Here's another fun little spot I like to stop at on this trail. Just something about this rock angle in the moss. We got it. Oh, we need some drag brake. I've been building this truck up purely for fun and I really like the option parts. I selected to customize it and make it my own. The red looks absolutely sick with this black body and I like that little bit of extra weight I added to the front. I think it helps settle the truck in. I did have a few problems with the wiring, but that's kind of part of the hobby is to figure out, diagnose it and uh, it's back on the road. It's just so much fun to drive. I'll have links to everything I use in the video description below and hopefully this little project update helps inspire you with your TRX4.